What's up, subflappers? Welcome back to another video. And if this is the first time you're on my channel, welcome, welcome. Today, the topic is gonna be Yunjin. Now, if you're watching this video and you're wondering, well, it's about Yunjin. So where's Yunjin? Why is Joy Mia front and center? And for the ones who are more keen and uh, up to date with a lot of the stuff that Mahoyu releases, you likely have started piecing together a part of the puzzle. And today I want to help the other people who haven't really looked into this stuff understand what Mahoyu is trying to do essentially with Yunjin here and why going forward we will likely see stuff like this for the foreseeable future. And for the new New viewers here i'm currently doing a ton of giveaways here on the channel zhao shinhe zhongli ganyu you name it i've lost count of how many i'm about to give away but uh, subscribe stay up to date and you have a chance to win a free five star character all right with that said moving on with the video so with yunjin what is her purpose in the game a lot of people look at her and see that she's geo like well another geo character is she supposed to facilitate uh, a geo team what is the purpose of Yunjin. Now, if you guys think that uh, Yunjin is here to somehow facilitate Geo teams further, uh, you would be sorely mistaken on many levels. While yes, she definitely could be slotted into some Geo teams with some Geo carries, I would like to point out one of her skills, which is this one right here, Flying Cloud Flag Formation. Now, if you read that, when normal attack damage is dealt to opponents, bonus damage will be dealt based on Yunjin's current defense. The effects of Flying Cloud flag formation will be cleared after a set duration or after being triggered a specific number of times. When one normal attack hits multiple opponents, the effect is triggered multiple times according to the number of opponents hit. The number of times that the effect is triggered is counted independently for each member of the party with Flying Cloud flag formation. From just looking at that, you guys might think, well, that's a very basic buff that some characters Characters may utilize, but not many can fully utilize. And that's exactly right. Yunjin is a character that seemingly is designed to buff characters' normal attacks. And now, in recent memory, is there a character you guys remember that's been released, which people still to this day have problems and gripes with, that heavily relies on normal attacks? Hmm, I wonder, I wonder. Now, I don't think it's, uh, it's a stretch of the imagination to say that uh, Mahoyo is trying to buff certain characters or facilitate certain characters better than others nowadays. I've said this when Yoimiya was first released and I've said this way prior to her release as well and that's something that Mahoyo always likes to do. They like to release a character that feels somewhat incompetent and slowly build up their supporting cast around them. Just as they like to sell you the solution to a problem that is yet to exist, this is something that Mahoyo has done over and over again at this point. Yunjin coming out designed to facilitate Yoimiya is no big surprise, especially to people who consume my content because I've been saying this non-stop. Now, there is one key aspect to why Yunjin is a Geo character. There is this artifact set in the game called Archaic Petra. And now you guys may or may not even remember this thing exists as truly it is an archaic artifact that dates back all the way to Genshin's initial release, I believe. And here is the four piece set. Bonus of Effect. Upon obtaining an elemental shard created through a crystallized reaction, all party members gain a 35% damage bonus for that particular element for 10 seconds. Only one form of elemental damage bonus can be gained in this manner at any one time. Well, that certainly also heavily benefits Yoimiya if that crystallize is procced with, of course, Pyro. With all this adding together, I wonder just how much more powerful Yoimiya is able to become. Now, here's another key aspect. What is going to be the rest of this Yoimiya team? I don't know. I likely might want to throw someone like Bennett into that team to give Yoimiya the buff. However, then Yoimiya would struggle from limited movement space within Bennett's burst, which ultimately would cause her likely 
to get hit by mobs because there's only so much space you can dodge around in Bennett Circle and getting hit is just inevitable. And do you guys really think crystallized shields are going to be enough to keep Yoimiya safe from harm's way? Chances are you're still going to take interruptions and damage. So what is the solution here? Well, 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 in comes Daddy Zhong Li, right? Daddy Zhong Li paired with Yunjin, paired with Bennett, paired with Yoimiya. You got double pyro, double geo, the classic DPS shoved up your ass cheeks. Yoimiya is going to become essentially a hyper carry in this team, free from the needs of reactional damage as the scaling just goes through the roof along with Bennett's buff, Zhongli's AoE shred crystallized through Yunjin. And in theory, this team should be able to upscale Yoimiya's damage straight to Mars. And of course, we also have the tenacity set that Zhongli likely will be running alongside with, uh, depending on what weapon you gotta run, we could be running two R5 Phonius Lance on both Zhongli and Yunjin and just go with an alt spam playstyle facilitating Yoimiya uh, during her downtime, right? I do think that Mahoyo has truly outdone themselves. I, I can't even say this with a straight face. I truly believe Mahoyo has outdone themselves and uh, really, really showcase that they are willing to put in the time and effort to essentially, this is a buff, right? Buffing certain characters that they deem could be stronger. Now this, I don't believe, is a decision that was made after Yoimiya's release. This is a decision that was made prior. Now, we talked about all this stuff right now. You guys might be really interested be like wow that actually in theory sounds so strong right look at all this multiplicative stacking buffing shredding uh and all all the good stuff with the resonance as well remember we haven't even touched on yunjin's constellations now i don't look at leaks all this information i've gathered is essentially through looking at yunjin's skills and having chat and people in the comments just non-stop asking me about this. Yeah, and I do have to agree. Yunjin Yoimiya definitely seems to make a great pair. And I am slightly scared to even consider what is hiding under Yunjin's constellations. This character might straight up make Yoimiya shoot all the way up to the top when it comes to abyss usage. Yoimiya hyper carry team is definitely something everyone should be looking out for in patch 2.4 and beyond. And as we approach the end here, I don't want to make it sound like that Yunjin is a character specifically designed for Yoimiya. I do think that there are other characters which can potentially use Yunjin as well in a similar fashion to Yoimiya, right? The archaic Petrix set can be utilized on all elements as long as you can be precise enough to get that crystallized shield and also pick it up. You essentially can pair Yunjin in a lot of different teams. Tartaglia is another character I believe in theory should be able to use this but on hit tartaglia has you know really faded out of a lot of people's preferred playstyles nowadays but i'm sure you guys will get mighty creative with this character and have plenty to show for just a couple of weeks into patch 2.4 and now that being said patch 2.4 is going to be dropping tomorrow and i can't wait to get on start summoning start testing these characters we're going to be going back to Li Yue and what a nice change of pace however there still is that new zone coming in inazuma and boy oh boy i can't wait to explore it please people hit that like button subscribe stay up to date with the content so you never make any mistakes in genshin impact i'm lying i don't know everything i make mistakes all this time and sometimes i talk straight out of my ass <laughs> if you tuned into to my last live stream you guys would know what i mean all right there's a lot of things that i don't know as well and i would love to exchange knowledge with you guys and make sure to continue calling me out when i am speaking straight from my ass cheeks with that said if you guys made it all the way to the end of the video make sure to comment blue liquid down below that's it blue liquid yeah it's random i know but let's see how many people even made it this far all right with that said i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video until then urge you to stay safe peace peace bye